All right, guys, I'm back. It's your boy DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz. Got my little gear on. So just a quick reminder, we are doing a giveaway at the end of the month for Rogue One. Check out our favorite Star Wars video that we've done. Um, all you have to do is comment, leave your favorite Star Wars 1 through 7, or if it's just your favorite one, go ahead and post it, and we're going to pick from that selection of comments, see who won, and we're going to give away a Rogue One figure so all right guys just got through watching awesome episode of the walking dead mid-season finale thought it was great i thought it was the pretty much second best episode of the whole season uh right behind episode one honestly i thought it was great storytelling which was lacking the whole season we got to see all the characters pretty much they they flipped back and forth to what they were doing so we got Rick and his little Rick and that uh, curly hair dude, what they were doing. We got Daryl when he's about to escape. We got Maggie and her interactions at the heel. We got Carol and her interactions with the Knights. You know, it was just, we got everything and what's going on. And it was boom, 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 boom. You know, it wasn't this long, drawn out hour and a half of just one person's story because we like all the characters, right? Right, guys? We like all the characters. So it was nice to see all the characters told in one episode. So I thought it was the, the, one of the best episodes for sure. All right, so let's just jump right into it. We get Negan shaving and Carl sitting there like his little side chick. Uh, they just making Carl look bad. I, I, I know that in the comics he's supposed to be this badass, but Carl's just looking like a little punk, man. He ain't even saying nothing. He ain't even like giving no looks or nothing. I'm like, bruh. And then when niggas in the kitchen and he's making spaghetti and he says, you want some? Want to taste some? I was like, Carl, if you open up your mouth right, right after he didn't put his lips on that, I'm going to just kick the shit out of you. What is happening? But he didn't. Carl stuck. He had a little bit of pride there. A little bit of guts. <laughs> but still, they're trying to make Carl look very, uh... Like, like a punk, honestly. I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and say it. So then we get preachers talking to the old girl who got the the bullet made for, which why they only made one bullet is weird, but whatever. She's explaining explaining to the priest how she really feels about everyone, how everyone really contributes, and she feels like this is gonna be her way to contribute is to kill me. Now the priest is like, What about Sasha? Because she leaves Sasha out, and she's like Get that. You know, like, Sasha who? Nah, Sasha's just good for sleeping with other women's men. That's what she good for. That's what I felt she was saying. What, you, what do you guys think she was look, thinking about at the time? But that's what it felt like to me. Like, that's the only thing Sasha good for. And what is going on with Carol? Carol is on this, this street. Like, Carol's starting to sound worse than Morgan is. On Honestly, at least he will defend himself or, you know, help out his people he loves. He don't want to kill for him, but he will help him. She's just like, I don't want to have nothing to do with Negan. I don't want nothing to do with the heel. I don't have nothing I don't want to have nothing to do with with uh Rick and his crew. I don't have nothing to do with no one. And I'm just like, girl, what do you think is gonna happen if Negan ends up killing all the other groups? They coming for you in that house, and you're going to give them half of your shit. So you need to get with it. Stop playing. Stop punking out. You're going to have to just be a hermit later. You can't be a hermit right now. You just can't. You know, I mean, I get it. You kill so much that you just kind of broke right now. But honestly, you're going to have to get over that because people that you love... Do you want to walk out the house one day and see Rick and them dead or walk over to Alexander for whatever reason? You need some sugar. You need some sugar. I don't know why you walk over there, but you need something. And then they did. Is that what you really want to happen? I feel like you don't. So, Carol, get your shit together. The guy from the Knights has a really good point. If you're going to have to fight anyway, you might as well be on the offensive. You might as well prepare. You might as well have planned. You can't just sit around and be like, get hit a few times and then like, oh, now you want to fight? No. You should be the first one to swing. So I thought you had a very good point. I would definitely be trying to plan that out. Even if it's just for, you know, just in case something happens. Just in case, even if you do want to wait for Negan to step, at least you'll be ready. I'm, I like to prepare. 
I'm all about preparation, uh, provisioning. I'm all about that. So preventative measures. That's that's how that's my personality. So I'm all for the guy that's talking to them from the nights. I'm with him on that. So then the dude whose mom was the leader at Alexandria. I don't even know his name. He don't be on too many episodes, but. Uh, he go over. He has this grand plan, this grand scheme that he's gonna walk over to Negan and say all these things, all these bad things about Rick, and how we should get rid of him and put me in charge. I'm like, what? Are you serious, bro? Man, I never liked you before, but as soon as he started talking about that, I definitely didn't like him. But but the thing is, Carl's a little ass. Sitting on the porch, listening to this. He don't want to say nothing. Carl, he's talking about your daddy, bro. He's talking about your daddy. And you don't want to say nothing. You don't. You ain't going to talk about my daddy like that. You're going to shut. you going to have to shut the hell up. That's what's going to happen. Like, bro, Carl. But anyway, I don't, I'm just saying I noticed it. Carl right there. He right there on the porch listening to him play pool. So, Carl. Anyway, so... I'm like, bro, are you snitching right now? Bro, are, are you snitching though? Because I feel like I hear snitching. And this is what makes the episode so great. is because this, we've always heard this term, snitches get stitches. But ain't no, I never even seen anything that is in comparison to that. So when they actually showed you that from you snitching, now you gonna need stitches, bruh. That was awesome. And I was like, <laughs> at first I was like, dang. And then the guts are cool. I was like, dude, the guts, son? The guts? That was an awesome scene. I definitely liked it. I know a lot of people get a, give me a lot of flack that, you know, I shouldn't be down in this show because it's a drama. But drama means it has to be dramatic. That was definitely dramatic. Anyone knows me knows that I was dying laughing at that episode, at that scene, because when he started, he started holding his own guts, like, oh, oh. <laughs> was dying laughing, but that's what you get. Snitches get stitches, and you definitely needed some, bruh, because you, it was all falling now. You couldn't hold it in, because you need stitches now. So I loved it. I loved it, definitely. Bro. Maybe I just wasn't watching well on my TV. I wasn't paying attention. But how in the hell did she miss? She takes she getting all getting all boiled up because now her little boyfriend or whatever you want to call it, side booty got stabbed, needs stitches. So then she's getting all frustrated, and she take out the gun and try to shoot him. And I'm like, how did you hit Lucille? Because you doing all this training. You talking shit to Eugene about how he can't do nothing. And you go off and miss? Girl, that was such a waste. And then back to this thing where you only made one goddamn bullet. Who makes one bullet? I don't get it. What are you going to do with one bullet? Don't you want to make sure he dead? You could have shot him. You could actually hit him. He could have still been alive, shot you, and then you gone because he got multiple bullets. You need more than one bullet. That's what I'm saying. Preparation. Just prepare. You at least like three bullets. If you ain't got three bullets, you ain't got no plan at all. That's just me personally. So, but what I'm saying is, what I'm asking is that, did you guys see how she missed? Because maybe I just wasn't paying attention because right before she shot, or when she shot, it went to commercial. And then when it came back, all of a sudden she just missed. I'm like, well, did I miss something? It's just like that episode where Negan throws the hatchet out, and then it ends up on top of the uh, RV. Is that one of those episodes? Maybe she did miss to hit Lucille somehow. I don't know. But I didn't see them show the little bullet hole or the ricochet or nothing like that. She got a miss because he can't die. I get it. But I would have liked them to kind of explain that a little better or show it a little better because we are watching the show. So show it. <laughs> so then, I know it shouldn't be funny, but it's, this stuff is funny to me. He, nigga is like, who made this bullet? She said, I did. He said, now I just think you a liar. Girl, with a knife at her face, shoot somebody. She turns all the way around and shoots that fat girl 
in the head. I'm like, dude, she got to get hit in the head, though? Like, you, out of all the people, because she, she's facing the opposite way of the girl. So she has all these people that she could be shooting, but she decides to go all the way to 180, shoots this girl in the head. I'm like, dang, did you dislike her or something? Did she do something to you? Wow. But I guess she got to go. You know, she was she was kind of crying. She don't really, really fit in that world. You can't be crying because you got to go sit with somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, I thought that was really funny. Um, I really liked it. I, uh, I wasn't expecting that girl to die. I wasn't expecting anyone else to die. So Rick comes and Negan is telling him, like, all the stuff that's happened today. Like, your son done came with machine guns and shot up a bunch of my people. This girl done tried to shot me. This dude tried to snitch on you. And I'm doing you a favor. Out of all the bad things that's come my way, I'm helping you out. <laughs> but honestly, he kind of got a point. Because I'd have shot, I'd have killed uh, Carl. I'd have killed that girl. Yeah, I probably would have killed an uh, old dude trying to snitch on uh, Rick. But I would have done, what I'm saying is I would have done a lot worse. So honestly, he kind of got a point. I'm doing all this, and all I'm going to do is take your, your guy. I'm going to just take Eugene, and I'm going to take whatever you got in that car. And we're going to call it a day. I mean, honestly, that's pretty light. Because I can shoot all y'all. I come to your place. I'm a guest. I'm a guest in your house. I'm a guest in your neighborhood. And this how you gonna treat me? Negan? Oh, hell no. <laughs> so, but what I'm saying is he could have done a lot worse. So then we get the whole reunion. Rick talks to Michonne and I'm assuming she convinces him or maybe she was already, maybe he was already thinking that I need to do something more and she just kind of like tipped him over. I'm not really sure what was the, or the motive. They decided now we're about to go kick some ass. I can't take you no more. They shot fat girl. They <clears throat> stabbed old dude, but he's a snitch. So he needs to stitch it. So I, I, I kind of with that, but you know, I just can't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? So now we got to come together and unite and come up with a plan and Kill this dude. They walk over to the hill and they reunite with Daryl. At first, I thought that wasn't going to even show Daryl. And I was like, yo, where did Daryl go? So I'm glad they brought him in there. Daryl has Rick, the gun. Thought that was great. And then uh, they all hug. And now they're about to go try to plot and, you know, have this think tank and think about all the things they can do to get rid of Negan. So I just want to say it was a great episode. It's the type of episode that I would have wanted throughout the whole season. You know, so if you like this episode or if, you, if you're if you with me and you think that this was a great episode, then you understand why I gave the rest of those episodes a lot of grief uh, because it was just, it was just bad. So I love the story. The, the storytelling was great. The music was great because it, it, to me, it's, sometimes the music it makes something a, dra a drama. It makes it dramatic. You know, and I thought the music was great. I just thought it was a good episode. So I am going to say this is a good episode. I liked it. But let me know, guys. Do you think that Negan was really being too light? Or did he act appropriately or what? You know, because now he about to get it. You know, so is is his arrogance going to be his own demise? Or is he really a decent guy? But he just going to say, you know what? When I repair the world... I'm going to be on top. I'm going to make sure I'm on top. Now, like I said, we are doing this giveaway. So watch our other, I'm going to put the link up here. Watch our other um, <clears throat> our other video on Star Wars. So if you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to go see Rogue One this Friday, and you want to actually win a Funko Pop exclusive, Smuggler's Bounty exclusive, go ahead and click on this link here and check out the video. And just go ahead and comment on that, What what's your favorite uh what your favorite Star Wars is. Also, check out our other videos. Uh, we put a, I'm, I'm sure I put a few links up here uh, that pop up. You can check out our other videos as well, um, other reviews. Uh, we need all your support, so please like, subscribe, share, and comment, guys. All right, guys, so if you like with any more of this, do what you do. 
I'm DeAnthony, and I'm out. Peace.